Vietnam is uh, one of the one of the most top destination right now in terms of boxing. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the next bout. Scheduled for six rounds of boxing in the men's super lightweight division. And at the sound of the bell, your referee in charge giving instructions from Korea, Lee Jung Tae. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he comes into the ring wearing black trunks with white trim, officially weighing in at 139 U.S. pounds. In his professional campaign in the ring, he comes in with a record of eight victories, one defeat, two bouts even. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current IBF China lightweight champion, introducing Li Yong Ya. And his opponent in the opposite corner of the ring, fighting out of the red corner, coming into the ring, also wearing red trunks with white trim, officially weighing in at 140 U.S. pounds. In his professional campaign in the ring, he brings along a record of five victories, only one defeat, all five victories coming by way of a knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the number one ranked super lightweight from Mongolia and the current South Korean a super lightweight champion from Mongolia by Yarku Gan Bata. And I once again put the instructions referee Lee Jung Tae. Wow, this has got to be one of the most exciting fights today we have a former chinese ibf champion versus the number one ranked mongolian lightweight but a super lightweight boxer i think he is also a holder of a south korean uh, title right uh, yeah. on that uh, weight 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 class uh, i think um he has a, a record of uh, five wins and um and five by KO, I'm, I'm speaking of Bayangkor wow. Ganmatar of um, Mongolia. So all of his uh, win is coming from a knockdown, knockout. Uh, Yang Lin Li, like you said, is a, is a IBF uh, China lightweight champion. This is going to be an interesting fight. For sure, we are witnessing round one Ganmatar versus Li, China versus Mongolia. I and think Li is also... I think uh, Ms. Rika Lee is also has only one loss on his um, um, on his uh, career, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, eight wins like that. So certainly, this is a test for both of them, uh, facing a high-caliber boxer, just like themselves. So very exciting. They're, they will be fighting at uh, 140 division. Uh, super lightweight, six round. Um, this is a making of a classic, you know. And there's also uh, a, a, a descent between uh, a, a Mongolia and uh, China. I think um, uh, they they are only one breed in terms of uh, sports, boxing, and uh, among other sports. For sure, Lee here getting aggressive targeting. The head of uh, Gaan Batar, but Gaan Batar smiles it off. Answers with a double jab and body head attack. So I think uh, Lee has a distinct advantage on his reach. That's why you see him pumping his jab up a little bit more, uh, trying to, to to maybe stick that jab and uh, make make uh, Gaan Batar think about uh going inside you're absolutely right uh partner uh gun batar although smaller is visibly uh wider if you can see his back his torso he looks he appears to be bigger uh yes and you could see some uh tremendous snap to the body by this mongolian uh bulldozer Yes, his left head to the body seems to be his go-to punch while Lee covering up pretty well. Oop, but that uh, hook got in on Lee.
center of Bro. the ring are both boxers Bro. right now. No, uh, the boxers. There you have it. Both boxers head hunting as of the moment. Headshots. But that's a body shot by Gan Batar. And that is it. End of round number one. Gan Batar from uh, Mongolia versus Li from uh, China. The boxer has, has this moment. Uh, There you have it. We approach second round of this bout. Partner, how do you see this uh, initial round of this great young talent? You know what, uh, partner? It's pretty even for me. Gan Batar has his moments. Lee had his moments. So far, it's still for anyone's taking. How about you? Maybe Gan Batar has the more um, clear... I mean that I'm I am not a judge, but maybe clear cut punches, um, especially that body punches um, he has uh, thrown uh, to to Lee. Certainly, we'll see how Yang Yang Lee adjusts. Uh, he is not a former champion for nothing, so we'll see how he handles the, yeah, the power bad. of Gatatar. Partner Yang Yang Li must uh, try to put this with not just as if if the the batter goes to a short for uh, for him. Certainly, partner, that is a good assessment of the fight so far. Gan Batar stalking Li, just trying to move as he moves. Not letting Lee gain any space to breathe or have any space to breathe. You that uh, all, uh, who will I sec you? Try big ropes. Uh, 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 go fighting him. For sure, that what uh, Yang Yang Li valiant effort to counter despite the barrage of punches from God Batar. That's a good hook and a body shot by Yang Yang Li, but Gan Batar just has the hands uh, of a uh, like bullets. His punches are like bullets, very uh, accurate. There you have it, four punch, six punches by Yang Yang. He barely goes through. Body, body, head combination by Gan Batar. That jab certainly is enough to, to stun Yang Yang Li, but Yang Yang Li keeps on moving forward. There you have it. One, two, three by Lee and a body shot answered by a right cross and double jab by Gan Batar. One, two to the head and body by Lee. Good though. Those were good shots that snuck through by Yang Yang Lee. Gan Batar tries to counter. This is a good, good moment by uh, Lee. Gaining momentum here at round two, partner. Nice uh, body. One, two to the body by uh, the Matar. End of the round number two. It started out pretty strong for Gun Matar in this round, partner. But Lee seemed to have gained the momentum uh, at the end of that round. What did you think of that, that round by these two boxers? The only factor that I'm uh, noticing about uh, Yang Yang Li is uh, his stamina. Could he sustain his stamina all through that sixth round? He has a chance of winning the fight. But he, if he paid away, I think he is in deep trouble with John Batar. You are absolutely right because certainly if you're absorbing such such punches, that could 
possibly take the wind out of you. But we'll see Yang Yang Li if he is uh, able to recover and sustain the momentum in round three. Then it's going to be an exciting fight. Definitely, definitely. These two rounds is quite very interesting. Uh, start of round number three. Here we go, round number three, Gaan Baltar versus Yang Yang Li, here to entertain us from the Grand Ho Tram in Vietnam. Now, now Li is trying to slide toe to toe. Maybe this is not a perfect formula in beating Gaan Baltar, but we would never know. Yes, exactly. Still, for anyone's taking, anything can happen. These two are high caliber boxers, after all. But we always, uh, but we always said in boxing, maximize your advantage. Uh, right now, Lee is trying to have a brawl with with a brawler. <laughs> so uh, exactly. I uh, let, let, so let's see, let's see what what uh, what possible uh, implication uh, Lee is uh, what Lee is doing right now. Here we go. Yang Yang Li is four punch combinations, but blocked by Lee. A very, very good, a very good size crowd uh, on hands on him. Like I said, in in, in Grand Hall Tram Street, what an amazing place to hold a a, a very very good uh, boxing event. Exactly, partner. And also, I think Vietnam wants to make this the hot spot for international boxing, bringing in international boxers at the the Grand Hall Tram. Of course, Kaki Buffalo bringing in international boxers as well as VSP promotions. If I'm not mistaken, four um, big uh, uh, Asian countries got together uh, for this event to sign mm -hmm. uh, a, a memorandum to help each other again a good uh, boxing event um, uh, here in Vietnam and, uh, and also in the Philippines, South Korea and China. And as well as in Japan. Exactly. There you have it. Toe to toe action by both boxers' partner. To my Just surprise, to, mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Rika, to my surprise, uh, Lee has been uh, successful in doing uh, this uh, um, toe to toe with. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm equally surprised, but he is making me a believer. Exactly. Right now, I think he must have gained a uh, second wind as we can see him engaging against yes. a, an aggressive uh, Gaan Batar. In, in, my, eyes, good shot. in mm -hmm. my eyes, I think he threw a little bit more on this round and he, he connected um, better on this round. I'm speaking about yes, Lee. With, yes, Lee with that final, uh, with the, that shot to end uh, round number three. Interesting I, how this this fight is swinging from from uh, Lee's side to Ganbatar's side. It's it's right now. It's going to be a surprise who takes the win, partner. I don't know if you notice it, but Ganbatar slowed down a little bit on round number three. Yeah, uh, is this is it similar to, to, to what I uh seen, uh, Mr. Rika? Certainly, certainly. I think uh, uh, Lee found this range, he found this rhythm, which made it difficult for Gun Batar to counter. So, here he was uh, mostly defensive in this round, but yes, with still with those hard shots to the body. We'll see on round number four who will uh, emerge as the aggressor. Um, this is a very close uh, fight of this, like I said, this two ring uh, gladiator. So we we'll start in round number four. Here we go. Gun Bator from Samsung Boxing and Yang Yang Lee from Top King Boxing fighting for six rounds here at the Grand Botram. Both boxers start starting fresh, still at round four. 
Oh, nice Ooh, counter yeah. by Gun Batar. Good straight. Oh, that was a good jab, slip jab by Gun Batar. There you have it. But Lee, yeah. We all know that I think a Mongolia is a, is having a fair share of his uh, great uh, boxing. Um, um, they they contribute all over the world. I uh, if I'm not mistaken, some of the right. of Mongolian uh, boxer are, are world rated also uh, in the world. Certainly a partner because they have this uh, a good environment for training. They have a fight tradition that exists throughout history as well and also China so this is an interesting uh, interesting matchup of, of tradition and styles no doubt partner I, I'm sure you're gonna agree with me both boxers are have their their uh, are very good at what they do both boxers adjust well each other's styles I think it's I with with with, well, with that uh, what you said, I think this uh, two boxer is still quite a young uh, under boxing career. Certainly, Gan Batar is twenty eight, while Yang Yang Li is twenty five. So much uh, for the so much left for them uh, to accomplish in the future. And both champions, right? Yes. Both of them have earned the. Uh, titles. The fight was uh, paused uh, for a moment because the mouthpiece was uh, of, of Lee was. Uh... Yeah, it was ejected in that exchange, but we are resuming with 22 seconds to go. And another good thing that Gan Batar is doing is shifting and moving in different angles. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what he's doing that, that Lee isn't doing as much. Very well said and very well observation uh, from Nick Sirica. Nice uh, right by, by Lee. I know my by, by Gan Batar on that instance. Do you think, uh, partner, that uh, stamina is a key here in this, this spot? Well, I was uh, very uh, noticing that um, that uh, Lee has um, hopping and popping on round number two, but he, he made me he made me a, a false believer because uh, he is now has, has that stamina. Uh, we are heading to round number five, and uh, he's he's still uh, going toe to toe with uh, Gan Batar. So I think um, it's not a factor right now on round number five. So. This is a very decisive five and six. Uh, if and when um, this bout uh, goes to the decision, you are absolutely right, partner. Uh, we've watched a lot of fights already, and right now we are seeing just pure uh, technique from these two boxers. And right now we are seeing the best of Mongolia and China in front of us. Maybe round one and two uh -huh, could could go either way. Probably Lee could take the three and uh, Gan Batar get the four. So that's only in my eyes. But uh, but uh, like I said, fifth and sixth round could be crucial for this fight. Yes, uh, partner. Good observation and certainly round number five. Gan Batar started out aggressive but Yang Yang Li answered immediately he wasn't gonna let Gan Patar bully him again the straight Good movement hook. by Gan Patar. yes, yes uh, pardon the straight and hook of Gan Patar, uh continuously connected a uh, great upper also by uh, Gan Patar on that instance but Lee is, is, is trying to answer every every punch that uh, Dan Batan thrown. Exactly. And what Yang Yang Li, on the other hand, is doing that Dan Batan isn't doing as much are long-range punches. He's doing jabs, connecting with those jabs and straights. And we are having a moment of 
just a few moments right there. I just think on that tape, that, that, that yeah. tape on the, uh, the... There you have it, just... A minute on 39 on this round number five. This round is still up for grabs, uh, uh, I think, in my opinion. Certainly. You are right, as both the boxers are not going to give up that easily. With so much pride, they fight here in front of a Vietnamese audience and for the rest of the world to see. Brought to you by Enorde TV. Only Olero TV could bring it uh, to you, this kind of a multitude of events. Certainly, and if you want your own boxing event to be showcased here or all over the world, you know where to go. Elorda TV will be your guy. <laughs> Lee connected with some several great uh, left straight uh, uh, smack to the head of uh, uh, the Matar. Oh, nice, nice overhand by the Matar. There you go. Lee is stuck for a bit right there. Gaining composure and covering up. The answer is Yes. I wonder, partner, uh, why only now that he just just trying to snap that jab? He has a brief good moments on round number five. Then he abandoned that jab, and now he is trying to to, to, to do it again. That that left jab is quite um quite a great great weapon now uh, for him. I'm speaking about Lee. Certainly, you're right, and also it's a way for him to not let Ganbatar get too close. Ganbatar will really pummel you with, with his punches uh, at close range. And with that jab, Lee is able to kick the, keep him at least away for a bit. There you go. Those are the jabs that you want to see, right, partner? end of round number five still very very close round i think very close round uh, good moments uh, by uh, gunbatar good body shots good short range punches while lee also shines when he's punching uh long range actually a little bit later uh partner uh Mark John Yap up of the Philippines, the former Oriental OPBF uh, the Bantamweight champion, will uh, will co-main event this card. I, he will fight. We will fight uh, a Bangladesh boy uh, who also have a very very good uh, record. Certainly a test for uh, Mark John Yap, who is actually uh, becoming <laughs> an adopted son of Vietnam because he's been fighting in Vietnam for the last months and uh, i think the two fight winning streak is on the line of for mark on on this fight for sure and here we go round the number six the final round between gan batar and yang yang lee this could be the decider round number six you're right pardon and certainly it's still the same uh same story gan batar moving forward yang yang lee Countering good overhand by Gunbatar. And and, and to, res to have respect to both fighters, I think both fighters did connect good punches uh, uh, to each other. Exactly. And also, they have not, uh, they, they do not let go of their defense. You see them with that high guard just trying to to stay defensive the whole time. You could sense that this two young fighter really want to win. Uh, you could see his, in, in, in their expression, you could see in his punches, both want to tag each other and... Exactly. Pretty pivotal for them to win this, this fight as this will probably decide what they're going to do next and oh, good right by and, and a win could probably make their ranking a little bit better uh on this fight whoever exactly. wins this fight you're right absolutely right 
there you have it at the global stage. Khan Bhattar and Lee is battling it out. Final minute of round number six. Nice job, Abai Lee. Yes, that's what you've been wanting to see, right? I did hit, I think he did connect three to four uh, uh, left jab on that occasion. Again, one two by Lee. Both fighters are trying to pour it in on in that, this last and final round. Yes, 48 seconds to go, and they are not leaving each other's side, just toe to toe action from both boxers. The hands of Kanbadar partner. The hand, the the, the 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 volume of punches hasn't gone down since round one for Kanbadar. But Lee, excellent at countering. Actually, both fighters nearly made a misstatement on this fight. Exactly. Now I want to see more Mongolian and Chinese boxers slug it yeah. up. Yes. Yes. And Lee there raised, you have it. Lee raised his hand and uh, with, with I wonder if, if, if that was I think it's a momentous a stop. If there's no knockdown I think on that uh sequences. Yes. So we are gonna uh, or look at the look at the crowd there with very very happy with, with uh that uh, fight between Gadbatar and Lee. So we will go to the judges' scorecard right now. Yes. Lasting for a full six rounds. Such a treat for us boxing fans to see that action between Gadbatar and Lee. Let's wait for the decision of our judges. And I think both boxers are quite confident of winning this fight. You could see the their expression. Yes, and rightly so. I think it's a closely contested uh, bout between the two. It could be anyone's uh, night. Like, like I said, there's some rounds that very, very close round. Some rounds you think that Lee has an advantage. Some uh, rounds that you see that uh, Gunbata has some advantage. So quite interesting uh, to see who, who gonna be the, the, the winner of this uh, this fight there you have it the audience at the Grand Hotram such a such an exciting fight card I hope we have more of this coming to us this hope, year of course to be presented I, by Lord the TV right I really hope that uh, a lot of um Filipino also uh, will be get involved on this uh, card that uh, I think there's, there's not yet a decision yet. Yes, let us wait for the official <laughs> decision yes, <laughs> to be quite, announced. Quite, it's quite confusing because uh, I think uh, the, the um, symbolic uh, flower was given to Lee uh, yeah. without a decision yet. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, so we'll, so we'll see. We'll see who gonna win this fight and who, whoever gonna get that symbolic flowers. Here we go. Both bosses raising their hands, anticipating for their names to be called the winner. Will it be Mongolia or China? Which country's pride is Ladies going and gentlemen, to win after six tonight? rounds of boxing, we now go to the scorecards, and here are the score totals. First judge at ringside, scored about 57-57, a draw. Second judge at ringside, scored at 59-55. And our third judge at ringside, scored at 58-56. Declaring your winner by way of majority decision, 
from Mongolia. Okay. Here you have it. A majority Bayang. draw win. Bayang Krug and Bata get a nod on, on this fight, beating uh, Lee. Yang Yang Lee by majority decision. One judge scores a draw and the two judges um, 59-55 and 58-56 in favor of uh, Gun Batar of Magnolia, Mongolia. Exactly. Now the symbolic flowers given already. <laughs> there you have it. The flowers, uh, the signature flowers given yes. in Vietnam. What a great thing. I think we will see a lot of um, Bayangkong Gan Patar on uh, on this uh, kind of an event. And he is very um, fun to watch, a uh, kind of a boxer. Exactly. And we have already concluded two fights. We have uh, five more fights to go, of course. Much anticipated is the fight of Mark John Yap, Junior Raka, and 